Yes, we are starting the sport on a sp somber note today. Right. It's 18 years, as Araba says, of that disaster at the Accra Sports Stadium. Victims of that tragedy have been remembered. Um, and the CEO of Kotoko at the time and the CEO of Heart of Folk have been speaking to Joy Sports on the time that has passed. I cannot guarantee that the lessons have been learned. Uh, just recently you heard what happened at Brekum, what has happened at Doma, and what is happening elsewhere. We really need to learn lessons. We really need to learn lessons. A lot of education is important here. The structure of Kumasi Sports Stadium and Accra Sports Stadium no, makes it a bit difficult for hooliganism to, be, to come to the fore. And that is why the other centers should be made security uh, 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 friendly. It ought to be made security friendly. Once supporters misbehave and they are caught, they should be prosecuted. If you make football crime non-prosecutable, then everybody will commit the crime. But if you are caught, eh, like yesterday, somebody threw uh, uh, water eh, for unwarranted reasons and has been ar arrested by the police. We are looking forward to see what they will do. We have to set examples. We have to set examples. You go to a stadium which is principally an entertainment event. It is an entertainment event. Then you go and get killed. You go and get hurt. What is the, what is the sense in it? So we will not countenance this kind of hooliganism and violence. If anybody is arrested, it should be dealt with. And that will serve as a deterrent to others. You go to one venue, the security men there are aligned to the hooligans in that venue. So they cannot arrest them. So what, what do you expect? We have to be serious about this. 127 people lost their lives. What we tend to forget is that we talk about the 127. The impact on their families is more, maybe three times that. There are people who were involved who never had the opportunity to go to school, graduate, get married, have children. Right. So it's something that is important that we should always learn lessons from um, so that it doesn't happen again. Because as a country, how do we know whether we lost a Messi in that crowd? How do we know that one of them was going to create a Ronaldo? So we lost people on that day uh, in a tragic circumstance. And I think and I hope that the lessons are being learned on a daily basis. What has happened? What happened on that day, May 9th? We can never change it. Right? But what we can do is learn the lessons. If you are asking me for lessons, there were plenty of them in the commission report. Right? I don't have to recreate or reinvent new lessons. Um, the supporters have to behave um, themselves. The security agencies have to work within the rule of law. And if we don't create panic situation, this thing is not going to happen. Now, to boxing. And throughout this week, we've been getting ready here at Joy Sports for the bout between Isaac Dogbe as he looks to reclaim that WBO title. He's gearing up for the rematch against Emmanuel Navarrete. Nathaniel Atto is in Arizona in the state and has brought us visuals of the boxer training. In the UEFA Europa League, we are yet to find out if, again, just like in the Champions League, two English teams will make it to the grand finale. What's the latest now? It is Chelsea 1-1 Frankfurt, which means that if Frankfurt score again, Chelsea will need to score twice. And um, for Arsenal, though, it's 4-2 and it's 
all but done and dusted, the London club will be in the final of the Europa League with 89 minutes gone. So as it stands, it will go to extra time, Chelsea and Frankfurt, because it's 2-2 on aggregates between Chelsea and Frankfurt. So they'll have to go to extra time to sort it out. Yeah. Meanwhile, the AFCON is 44 days away. And we are getting ready here, as you know, with a series of programs. Joy AFCON podcast started last week. Tomorrow, there'll be somebody on the show. will be on the show. And let's see what he's got to tell us in this promo that he himself has posted on Twitter. Now... Well, um, that day, um, it was quite impossible. Uh, and, uh, you know, in life, that is what we always say. Everything is possible. Honestly, I was, I was the happiest man, you know. And um, I celebrated in a way that myself, I didn't know what I was doing. So that will be on the Joy Afcon podcast tomorrow, 7 to 8 p.m. on Joy 99.7 FM. He'll be telling us of all the years he's played for the Black Stars, which Afcon moment stands out for him. Mm. Yeah. Great, 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 great. Can't wait to see that. Thank you so much, Gary Al Smith. That this